it always seems better if you just click the button right when you sit down and get ready to enjoy a feast. Dominoes, guys, I've got dominoes. I pretty much uh, told you last night I was doing it. I'm almost positive I did at least. Um, dominoes is becoming a thing for me on Saturdays. As much as I enjoy my normal pizzeria, and I do enjoy them, uh, Domino's Pan Pie has a special place in my heart. It really does. And the fact that Kaki did pineapples and jalapenos last week, and she let me try a slice or two. So good. I fell in love with it. I fell in love with it, and I had to get my own pie, which I did. I got half pineapple and jalapenos, and then half green peppers and pepperoni with the salad, cheesy bread, my chips, and protein ranch. Don't be a doozy. And I've got no idea what Khaki's got for dinner tonight, so I'll let her tell you. <clears throat> so guys, you know I can't like really chew anything like hard or crunchy or anything like that, so I just, I played it simple. There's ham, cheese, ham, Swiss cheese, and turkey sandwiches, lettuce, lettuce, tomato, and jalapenos, and some onion rings. Onion rings, I don't know if I'm going to eat them. They came out kind what, of crunchy. The onion rings? Yeah, they came out really crunchy, so we will see. Papa Wheelie, I don't ride bikes. Papa Wheelie. I'm not a biker. You pop a wheelie. Uh, I, I, I'm not a biker. Uh, <laughs> I used to when I was younger, but I, I don't ride bikes anymore. I wanted to get a bike. Uh, back in the, know, um, we're frozen. Two years ago? No, we're not. Um, yes, we are. Who said that? Look at my in, look at look at my feed. The feed's frozen. Yes, you're not gonna see it there. You're gonna see it here. This is what everybody else sees. Oh shit! Um, it's, it's the back up. It's Jimmy the says it's back up. I believe Jimmy. Jimmy, do I need to restart this? Jimmy will let me know. All right, here we go. But it's blurry as shit. Ah, fuck. Was frozen. It's blurry as shit. I'll wait for you to hear from Jimmy. If Jimmy says that, then I'll do it. Yeah, it's blurry as fuck. Thank you. All right, I'm going to get out. Because you know I can't see. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Turn the Wi-Fi off. I think I turn did. The no, turn the Wi-Fi off. I think I did. No, you didn't. Where's the Wi-Fi? Yeah, Wi-Fi is not on. Maybe I'll turn it on? Let's try turning the Wi-Fi on. But I have the Wi-Fi on. Okay, but I had mine off. Hopefully this will be better. Apologize for the... Uh, I work at the airport. I wish I was closed. I thought we were going to. You can you're pop a Twitch. wheelie. All right, Jimmy. In we know anything if you Jimmy's believe enough. Twitch. Jimmy says, fuck you. Jimmy loves me. Jimmy would not say fuck you. And if you work at an airport, if you have any job and you hope to be closed because of this bullshit we're going through, Good then you, luck. Gotta, you need to think, Good think luck. That, look at the big <laughs> picture. A lot of people are hurting because they're not working. Yeah. A lot of people are, you know, are not doing good because they can't go to their job and make a living. Be thankful that you have a job that is open and you can still earn a living. Trust me, I would like to have to be off too, but at the same time, if it, if it has to do with me not having money, fuck that, I want to work. I don't want to be stuck at home. Hey, Anthony. Doing nothing but watching TV, eating hey, Evan, shit all day and being lazy. You get fat that way, number one. Number two, you will go crazy. You will go crazy. And I'm thankful. Hi, guys. <clears throat> that I have an essential job. As Jamie is thankful he has an essential job. Yeah, God. I'm happy You know that. what? She got a notification. That's good to hear, Munchkin. Oh. Because what we heard tonight is that the whole nation will be going on, you know, shut down. If it happens. If it happens on Monday. If it happens, I don't know if it's going to happen. That's rumor. Show me, Jimmy. Rumor says it's going to happen. So if that happens, I hope you have an essential job. Because you at least have mm. a paycheck and can at least, you know... Exactly Feature what family. I just said. Feature exactly family. what I just said. Exactly. Future family. And Kathy's I'm, got friends that are out of work right now. I do. I have friends that are out of work, and I'm lucky enough to have a job in a supermarket. Yeah. Where, if you need something, okay. Text me. Jimmy's gonna text you. Text me. Call me. I will 
pick up whatever you need and I will drop it off to you. I don't have a problem doing that. Sally, your boyfriend and brother lost their job. Could be 30 to 90 days. Exactly. Yeah. Do you hear how many people don't have jobs? I'm sure you know by the news that they're not having jobs. Be mm -hmm. thankful that you work in an airport and you have, you're able to make a living still. Because like, if I didn't have a job and I <laughs> didn't have an income, I'd be fucked. Jimmy, I'm not clicking on that. It's a picture. It's a, it's yeah, a picture. I know it was a picture. It's a transformation picture. Wasn't his. Oh, Jimmy, what are you doing? <laughs> I want to see it. Okay. Jimmy wants to see it. My ads are coming in. There you go. It's a big dick. <laughs> it's a big dick, buddy. Yeah, my ads are coming in too. I just don't have a big dick to distract everybody from my non abs not coming in. The one thing I do like about <laughs> these kind of pan pizzas is it's feeling like I could eat this whole thing and be 100% full and go to sleep, wake up three hours from now, look at my iPad, the very one I'm looking at right now. And what, it's you, lately, it's been, for some reason, every time I get up in the middle of the night, it's Razor Ramon coming down the entrance. And it's like, all right, time to eat my cookies. And last night was very depressing because by the time I got back to sit down on the couch and watch wrestling and dip my cookies in milk, the iPad died. So I was kind of just sitting there miserably, like just like very depressing looking at my kids as I dunk chocolate chip cookies with candy on them and milk. I don't even, you guys can't really see that, but. I think that's why I enjoy my snacks so much because I watch basically TV and eat cookies, which two loves. Watch wrestling and eat cookies, which is two loves of mine. How is it? Good? I feel like that would be tougher to chew than this. Mm -hmm. No? This is so soft. So is this. Mm -mm. All right, Kaki. If you say so, then I'm not that gonna... That will get stuck in my tooth. Pizza? I got cheesy bread, the too. Cheese, the, cheese is what, the cheese is what gets stuck in my tooth. Hey, Anthony, what's up, man? Hello, Anthony, how are you? Hey, Anthony, how's everything by you, man? You're in Texas. Yeah, we ha really haven't heard anything about Texas. How is everything going, like where you are? Oh, man. I don't want to go right into the jalapeno. Oh, you brought two bags of chips out? There's not that many in there. I don't use a lot. Like, it's just toppings. It's like, it's garnishing. It's, it's, it's nothing crazy. It's, my, my chips are like my salt and pepper on a dinner, you know? Just dabble a few, because if you go and load it up, it's not gonna... This is what I do. Now, this is not my I garlic knots from my normal that... place, but it's still good. It's that one starts to revealing, recording <clears throat> themselves more than one should, more than they should. What happened? Spot on. Good everyone, Munchkin. What, Anthony, what, are you, what is Anthony replying to? Jimmy said, I think it's that idea that one starts rewarding themselves more than one should. I gotta get a napkin and at the same time I'm going to pull my sweet tights up because I know my ass crack is sticking <laughs> out right now. It probably is. Uh -oh. His sweet tights, guys. They're taking precautions and all. No, Anthony, you're not shut down just yet, correct? Because starting tomorrow. We are. We're shut down. 8 p.m., everything shuts down. Everything. Other than, you know, my job. Well, I'm, I'm sure your show. job is. No, we're taking precautions. No. Let me tell you something. My job took, like, precautions today. Like, I. <laughs> I was shocked when I walked into work. Like I walked in through the side door and you know, the kid let me in cause I'm an employee and we have every other register open. So there's six feet between, you know, cashiers. But like, we're only letting 25 people in the store at a time. Like customer wise, not employee wise, customer wise, we're only like 25 people in the store you at one time. Early. I did, I left early. 
I left early because we had so much time because like we don't have like people picking our shelves dry. Like we had 25 people in the store but like they weren't clearing the shelf. So we had time like between those customers to like fill the shelves and do what we need to do and clean and sanitize. And let me tell you something, my store is like on top of their shit. And like normally I won't say that. Mm. I normally I will not say my store is on top of their shit, but like let me tell you, like the person in front of me rang out and then the girl sat there, wiped down the whole belt, cleaned the freaking That's the good. machine that you touched. Especially in it, that town. That town is dirty anyway. Not just my town, any town. But no, no, that town in general, the one you, you, you the one you stores well, in, is yes, a fucking the one that I grew town. up in, yes. But that's any town is dirty. It doesn't have to do with my town, but whatever. They, Yours is actually dirty. <laughs> because you know the town that's next to us isn't even extra, extra, extra dirty. But whatever. They even cleaned down like you know the machine you used to use your. Your, your credit card, but I wasn't using credit. I used cash, but... What's up, Lance? They even took it so far to wipe down the whole turnstile where they put your reusable bag. Oh, good. Which made me feel better. Like, they clean everything. They're constantly cleaning. And, like, that makes me feel so much better. To even work there. Just to work there alone. And, like, I know, like, I didn't have to wait online like everybody else did, because I know... <laughs> I jumped the line because I work there, but it is what it is. That's a part of working in a supermarket. Hold on, Anthony, like I'll tell you. To, you get to reap the benefits of working in a supermarket at these times, but we barely had anything on our shelves. I bought the last box of multi of whole grain freaking pasta. pasta tonight. There was one box left on the shelf when I went down the aisle. I freaking scooped that up and slapped that shit in my car like. Yeah. Like I was slamming a home dunk. Anthony. <laughs> my team. No, I know. Khaki brought home over $100 worth of groceries. I tonight. did. Anthony asked, why is it so hard to stay on track after you reach your goal when it comes to macros and I guess nutrition? Well, because you did a good job getting to where you are. And when you are in a position where there's, there, you're, you know, you're sacrificing everything and you're going to the gym and you're making sure you're stingy with your calories. You, you want something. Once you get that goal, it's easier to slack off. You're not as concerned with what you're doing until you start seeing a difference in yourself. Like Anthony, you're a small dude, you know, but if you woke up tomorrow, you know, lift your shirt up and you got this fucking beer belly and they're like, oh, I just, you know, I drank a lot last night, but you go the next day. You still got that beer belly and then you go the next day that beer belly is still there shit will get back into gear you'll know what to do and you'll do it mm -hmm. you know like for me I, and it's funny you said that i was just thinking about this last week when i first lost all my weight i did not cheat my cheat night was on a saturday night and it was not something i got for takeout it was something i made at home you know what I mean? Like we didn't Last do takeout. Saturday? No, when I first started losing weight. Oh yeah. Like that's what my cheat night consists of. It was a homemade meal, but I was looser with my calories. Once I got to my goal, where I lost more than what I was attending on losing, I'm like, all right, well, fuck it. Midnight snacks came back. Beer came back. Fast food came back. I eat fast food more than I ever did when I was fat. That's not true. I eat 7-Eleven food quite a bit. You feel comfortable with yourself and you feel like you can give yourself that privilege to eat whatever the fuck you want. Once you start seeing shit, you know, change, you'll get back to where you want to go. Mm-hmm. have a lockdown at the moment. I'm getting my Oz on. I'm right. Oh, that, that's Oz a good... Oz is that, sh that good show, Jimmy and... Oh, my God. I love Oz. Oz is such a good show. Oz is like one of the greatest HBO shows they've ever made. Oz is that good show, Jimmy. I've always thought about watching... Oh, God. Lance, Oz is awesome. Oh, no problem, Anthony. I'm just... That's my opinion, at least, because... You know what I mean? Back when I was losing the weight, man, you wouldn't see me eating pizza. Yeah, unless I, it was homemade. Mm-hmm. That's it. Lockdowns. Yo, me and Kathy used to watch Oz every single night. We used to watch Oz all the time. And then we ended up buying the seasons. 
Every single one. We bought, when Blockbuster was going out of business. We bought them all. <laughs> we bought every single season of Oz. We started from the very beginning. And we, we binge watched. Before we had kids, obviously. About an hour. About an hour. Oh, we'll be done. Yeah, no, we would binge watch Oz. No. We would, yes, we would. Yes, we would. But we would go to the bar. But No, no, no. This was before we bought the seasons. Yes. We would go to the bar. Come home. And we would get drunk. Have sex. But no, no, no. We would get drunk, go to 7-Eleven, buy food. Come home, have come sex. Come back home, bang, and then eat and watch us. Dr. Oz. Where were we? Not Dr. Oz, not Dr. but Oz. Oz. <laughs> we would not watch Dr. Oz. This is before Dr. Oz was on, you know, No, no, TV. Dr. Oz was already on TV, but we wouldn't watch him. <sighs> More cases every day. You, uh, you guys are the only people I really have any kind of connection or communication with that are in New York. I really hope you guys are staying safe, thinking about you and your kids, wishing you well. Lance, that's very nice of Lance, you. Thank you, no, man. No, we are staying safe. Our kids really, we will go in the car somewhere, but the kids won't get out. The kids mm. won't get out. Like Jamie, I'll get out or I'll get out of the car, but the kids don't. Pineapples and, and, and uh, jalapenos. Don't go in anywhere mm -hmm. and looks good right you know what even that Does at look? this point like my job yes, is let, only letting 25 people in at a time so and then it's like one of our pharmacies near us is not even fucking open oh no they close to sanitize that's oh, what that happened what they close to sanitize is that what the sign said i got an email i got an email from them they closed to sanitize the store to then reopen to service everybody else. So that makes me feel better that they closed to clean the store. I would rather a clean store than a dirty store. So Jimmy, you need to stop sending that picture. Kathy does Oz film. I said yes, he does lunch. Doctor Oz, yes. He films on the west on the lower west side of Manhattan. You wouldn't think it's like a professional, mm -hmm. if you went in there, like when me and Kaki went in there, it's not like this high quality fantasy studio. It's gated and it just looks like a fucking building. Like you wouldn't think it was like a studio. One of the grocery stores here are paying their employees hazardous pay. Well, that's good for them. I should get no. hazardous pay. Oh, they're playing, paying them hazardous pay. Well, you know what? I wish they paid me hazardous pay. But they're not going to. Hell yeah, fifty percent off of Domino's. That's not why I got it tonight. But yeah, hell, Domino's Chuck E. Cheese is delivering pizza. Yes, I said it. Chuck E. Cheese is delivering pizza. At a no, cheap they're price. not delivering pizza. You have to pick it up oh. at five dollars a pizza. So it's it's like Seven Eleven pizza right there. Coming in clutch with that fifty percent off. Yeah, but you know what? The fifty percent off. Jimmy scooping tonight. The 50% 50 50 off the pizza, honestly, we should have did, like... I think you want to hear this one. I firmly, and this is not coming from me, YouTube, hold or my, Instagram. Hold my comment, guys. I firmly believe that women's voting rights should be determined by their tit size. If you have these, you get one-fourth of a vote. But good forbid you have anything below a C cup, your vote counts about as much as garden hose. And then someone else says, wow, out of left field. I agree. Wow, I don't you even agree have... You agree what? Can you agree to what? Someone the, the so, someone said it afterwards, after that comment, wow, out of left field. Well, yeah. You well, know what? You belong the... back in like, I don't know, 1896. Super fatty pimp daddy? The person so above you that said that? go ahead and hike your ass back in your fucking time capsule. The person so, that... Bye. The peace, person that said bye, that... Bye, Felicia. The person that said that before you is a fucking loser. Obviously. And probably I know who it is, and they know that I know who it is, and has nothing better to do than troll on two people eating their dinner. Jeez. It's okay, though. Yeah. Some people, the audacity that someone would say that. Women have You want to shit on right... women? Go ahead, shit on women. But women... guess what? Men, no offense on men, they can't bring life into this world. Just saying. You can't bring life into this world without us. So it's like... Yeah, we, well, guess what? We, we can, Jesus we, we made that shit happen. With... 
You know what? Mary Magdalene made that shit happen. And whatever happened when after Jesus her. When Jesus was born. <laughs> you need me as much as I need you. Yes. You're correct. Okay. But. Let's, let's not bring fucking Jesus and his mother into this. <laughs> Because we are not a religious show. If this no, is the we're first not. Time tuning we're in, not. We are not religious. I was by just any trying to make a point, and it didn't work. So no, it didn't. Because I was trying <laughs> it didn't to. Work. I was trying to defend all women by saying, women have a right to do anything. We have a right to do whatever the fuck we want to oh, do. I'm trying to be a classy human being I'm right sorry. now and give a nice speech, and you're just fucking <laughs> getting all ghetto and shit. That yeah. wasn't ghetto. <laughs> Trust me, my head didn't move this way. Your head doesn't always have to move for Kagi's <laughs> ghetto ness to come out. Yes, it does. Just saying that. Yes, it does. You know what I mean? Oh, boy, khaki. Oh, these are the ones that are not open yet. How is everybody's day going? If you are on lockdown, what are you doing to keep busy? Keep yourself sane? I know a lot of people, including my parents, are just like... Because they, they're not going anywhere. You can't, really. There's nothing really open. A lot, You know, my parents watched a lot of TV today. <laughs> I don't want that to turn into, even though I'm not, I'm still working, even on my weekend where I could have just relaxed all day, I don't want to do that. I want to get out, I want to get moving, I want to have some kind of activity going on in my life. I was going to do two runs today, I didn't though, I did one, because my leg was hurting. Have you tried the Papa Diaz? I don't know what that is. What's up, Joe Cab? Taking up the, hey, Papa Diaz, Cab, you almost get about it. What is Papa Diaz? Is that a... Hello, Joe Cab. How are you? Is that a taco spot? I would say it's a taco spot. I could be wrong, though. How's your sandwich? Do you think you're eating both of them? I don't know. It's pretty damn good, though. Yeah? What exactly? The only thing this is missing... Is it an Italian hero? Is that no, what it it's is? not. No, Italian hero is salami. I don't know what you put on it, though. That's why no, this is... It's Swiss, um, turkey, and ham with lettuce, tomato, and onion. It's with like an mayo. Italian. Mayo. It's not an Italian. It's nothing like an Italian. Oh, it's Papa John's new sandwich. We don't eat Papa John's. Papa John's is gross. We've had many bad experiences with Papa John's. So that's like one of those places we just never... Mm. I had a very bad experience with Papa John's. Oh, we when do. I was pregnant with my son, with our son, Jamie decided to order ham on the pizza. That was the most disgusting pizza I've ever tasted in my entire life. Yeah, no, it I've actually been... made me throw up. My brother used to eat Papa John's all the time. <laughs> it made me throw up. It was so gross. I can't. I I don't even mess with Papa John's anymore. I'm not even gonna mess with them anymore. Just that one pizza alone screwed me for the rest of my life. Anthony, I think everybody would, should should have been stocking up weeks ago. Yeah, you should have been stocking up, you know, I don't know. Weeks ago. Not last week, but like the week, even like... Like there are people the that stock up. There are people that stock up all year around for, for cases like this. Yeah, well... Um... Your family, their friends call them crazy. And then something like when this happens, guess who the first person they're going to call? Yo, Joe. Joe, you got any more of that stuff? Oh, you mean the shit that I was buying when you were calling me crazy? That's what happens. If you're one of those individuals that stocked up and you stock up all the time for positions like this, good for you. Good for you. Because you know what? This is an eye-opener. And... You know, hopefully... What are our plans tomorrow? In time when this shit gets better, hopefully we get the big picture and we decide to, you know, go forward and stock up and be more prepared for the next time if something like this happens. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Our plans tomorrow, I'm going to go for two runs. I know that for sure. We got to think of something to do with the kids. Some kind of craft or like our thing. I was thinking about making homemade donuts with them on Friday. Yeah. Friday night. Yeah, you clean up that mess because I'm not. Alright. <laughs> I said what I was thinking about doing. Jesus. That's not how it is, Munchkin. Now you're the one being extreme. 
Who? Jimmy me? Munchkin. Oh, Munchkin? Um, they're going to shoot us and we're going to shoot them. It's free reign. Government will have no control. We didn't even have the news on tonight. Yeah, no. All I know is that... We had Dirty Dancing on. And then Anthony said, all I know is that I am down one pack of Oreos. <laughs> Anthony's down one pack of Oreos, and then people are apparently going to shoot each other. I don't know. Listen, we passed the gun store last night. Yeah, our gun store was ridiculous. There was a line going down the road. Three, three blocks down the street. Kind of scary. Not going to lie. And, and we then, live in like, a good area. Yeah, no, we do. But we weren't in our area. No. <laughs> we passed that. No. And then, you know what? I messaged, you know, in the group, like, and Chooch responded. And he kind of made me feel better. Like, people are just trying to, like, defend their families. It's, yeah, because you, you can't always look at someone. You can't always look at someone in a negative way. Yeah. And, and unfortunately. And that's what that's I what, did. That's what Katie did. And I know that's what Jamie did. <laughs> I didn't even really look at the people. I was just looking at oh, the Oh, no. Line. I, I just thought, thought in like general, a... like, oh, this isn't going to be a good thing right here. This is not good. But they're buying them legally. If it, whether it's guns or ammo. Because people in these kinds of, you know, situations, people decide to, what is it, loot? Loot. Loot. Looters. But that was not my first... Looting was not, like, my first, like... Thought in my head, home invasions was my first thought. Yeah, but you got to think. And then looting was second. And I'll tell you one thing: this, this would would be the last thing I would think of because if everybody is home, if no one is is out working or you know able to go out partying. And this is what you. Why said. the fuck is some idiot going to have the idea of like I know this family is home, and I'm going to break in and take their shit while everybody's he, home. Here's the reason. Police aren't going to respond like they normally would because they're too busy worrying about gas stations and supermarkets and everything else. And that's what that that's what Chooch told me. I know, but I'm just saying. And you know, it makes sense. It's still. It's still. It makes sense. That scares the shit out of me. I was thinking today. I'm a driver. Who's to say I don't get fucking robbed? You know what I mean? Like, they don't know what I Who's have. Who's to say I don't go out on my break and I'm going to come back into the store and somebody doesn't hold me at gunpoint because they need to get into the store because they need something. They don't want to wait on that fucking line. Well, unfortunately, the position, the, the area you're in, that could happen on a normal Tuesday. Yeah, I know. Thank you very fucking much. I'm just I saying. I mean, this is something I already thought But it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. Let's see. Let's not bring this fucking stream down with more of this talk. Because nobody's gonna hold you up for a fucking vibrator. Jamie will swanton bomb anybody that tried breaking in. Well, Luckily, we have cameras annoying. and a dog. We got two. More dogs. than one dog. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, between all the people that live here, unless you come yourself with a fucking army, good luck. I've got a bunch of fat brothers that don't fuck around. All right, I might be the smallest and one. And even but the dog will attack people that actually dog. live here. Yeah, Jax attacked me the other night. He tried to bite Jamie in the face. Yeah, he pretty much did because I, I had a hood on when I was going for my run. And he knows Jamie so. God only knows what happens if you walk into the house and he doesn't fucking know he's gonna bite your dick off. Jimmy Jim, I like I like your spirit. Because the stream has been brought down with all this talk about looters and home invasions and assholes that don't have a life and won't get a job and feel that they need to steal. Jamie uh, Jimmy thinks I should show you guys my tights, another picture of my tights, another you know, viewing of my tights to bring up your spirit. So I'm gonna do that, okay? These well, are black with gold hearts. Ugh. Well, I like what? them. I don't wear them a lot. I would like to say that I use these for special occasions. Maybe I should stand up and show you my ass to really okay, heighten everybody's... No one everybody's... wants to see your fucking ass, all right? Nobody wants to see my ass? Who no. wants to see my ass? No one asked to see your ass. At least someone asked for my tights. 
Okay. You just don't want there to be more people saying, yeah, I want to see her ass. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what it is. No one wants to see that fucking butt. Yes, Those they look do. like something HBK. Well, that's why I mm -hmm. bought them, Lance. Ah. Bulls D. Bobby joined with the Donald Trump thumbnail. What's up, Bulls D. Bobby? I want to see ass. <laughs> that's one. I get four. Ah. We're good to go. Lance said, shake that white booty. <laughs> <laughs> it's not white, though, Lance. It's tan. That's two. Can I get a fuck title? G? My name is Jamie with a J, not a G. And a fuck title? What is that? Can I get a double D's or stay home in election day? All these people that want to stay home during this time, I don't get it. They don't want to get sick. No, 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 meaning they want their job to show. And if that's the case, I understand. Because there's times when I think about, like, man, I'm touching all these boxes, seeing all these people. Listen, you're seeing all these people yet. The past, like, week and a half. My job was jam-packed full of people to where there was literally, like... Six, six inches between us. What? Like, six inches between me and somebody else. And it's supposed to be six feet. Yeah. Like, God only knows. Oh, I know. I know. And it makes me cringe. It makes yeah. me cringe. Because, you know, I could have breathed something in at that point. It's like, I'm over even asking, when do you think, like, because I, I, I am one that gets very concerned over things. I'm done asking people to make myself feel better. When do you think this shit's going to be over with? Because I probably don't want to know the answer. It's not sooner than later. And you just got to save face. And try to make everything seem like it's going to be okay for yourself and your family. Especially if you have little kids. You don't want to have them worried. I really can't even read that. Munchkin, it's not what... This is from Jimmy Munchkin. It's not what's read online, remember? What you may be perceiving. Hold on, I, I can't see it. Be perceiving if others may actually be what you're doing. May actually be what you're doing. Let's let's just say I know people as Kathy and this is not a drill. Yeah. No munchkin. Shit's getting serious. Donuts and then cookies with chocolate. Two glazed donuts. I do have an apple fritter in the back. It's not on the plate because it's in a plastic wrapper, so it doesn't get stale. One of the things 7-Eleven is doing now, their vendor that gives them their donuts, is not shipping the donuts separately anymore. They are individually wrapping them in plastic. Uh, seal them tight so it prevents people from picking up a fucking donut and saying, oh, you know what, I don't want this one, and putting it back. Spreading germs. Very good on our bakery that's doing that. Kaki, you still have my donuts Even coming? Yeah, no. Even, like, at my job. We prepackage everything, like rolls, bagels, everything comes prepackaged. So good luck if you just want to buy two rolls or two bagels. No, you have to buy a six pack now. Yeah, you have to buy a six pack or you buy nothing. What's that? If you come into my job, you can't just buy two rolls or three rolls. You have to buy a six pack. As it warms up, it'll go away, pizzas. Um... Hopefully. I don't know, man. I, we're just, Hopefully. We don't know we anything. We don't know. And if you're watching us on YouTube and you're thinking, oh, Jamie and Kaki knows, we don't know shit. We're just talking about what other people are talking about and giving I mean, our that's estimations. what we hope is going to happen, but we don't know that's what's going to happen. It may die down a bit. Everything still does not seem 100% real. We don't know. I don't predict the future because if I did... I wouldn't be working at a supermarket. I would be making a lot more money predicting the future somewhere else. Yeah, well, you, well, you can make more money. A lot more money predicting the future. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I, that's one of the things I always think about. Like, man, if I had unlimited powers, <laughs> if I could go to a rich man and say, hey, I can tell you this is going to happen. All you have to do is put a gamble on it, but I get half. It's like, can you imagine that? Can you imagine having so much money you don't know what to do with it? Can you imagine getting to wake up every single morning and not have a care in the world? 
not worrying about going to the job, even to yell at someone. Like, you're, you have people that do that shit for you. How long until your ass got sick and tired of doing nothing and have no such thing of importance well, to you? I would always find something to do, though. I'm not the kind of person. I would always find something to do. I'm saying I would like, always make work for myself. No. Oh. If we had that kind of life, I would have somebody to take care of everything. But I would want to, I would want something with traveling, I would think. I would always make sure I had something to do. I, I'm not one of those people that can just sit there and do nothing. And I never have July, early August, but we have to take the proper preventions. If you could be rich or have unlimited calories, I'm going with unlimited. Why do yeah, you, do you I would probably go with unlimited calories. And still be skinny, yeah. Here's the thing. I am very, uh, very much so into... Um, I don't want to be rich. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind. And I definitely don't want to be fat again. But, but I am very much into... Um, it's a certain word. Self... <laughs> like, there are things that are going to change with me. Self... <laughs> <laughs> there are things that are going to change with me, like, image-wise. Can't go get a haircut, barbershop's closed. Nope. Can't go to the gym. Can't go tanning. Can't go can't tanning. Do, can't, can't get your nails done. Can't get your hair done. Guess what? Yeah. It's a like, whole bunch of people will start looking for me. Yeah. And those <laughs> you're going to start using those filters, people. You're going you're gonna to start seeing people <laughs> using filters, number one, or you're going to see them kind of disappear on social media in general. Here's the thing. I've never used a filter. What you see is what you get. <laughs> this is why I don't use filters. <laughs> why? Because then... Because when the apocalypse happens, guess what? You'll be able to identify my body. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. I like filters. <laughs> I use them sometimes. I don't use filters. I don't. Just I don't like them. Just informed friends can't help those that close not to listen. Oh, yeah, Jimmy, I'm with you, buddy. You're doing nothing but trying to help You're people. You're trying out. to help people. Absolutely, 100%. What myth are you? Oh, we got a three-way going on between Munchkin, Pete, and Jimmy. Yeah. You know what? I'll... We're not getting in the middle of it. <sighs> Nuh-uh. I'm just trying to eat, guys. You guys want to debate. That's okay. Let them do what they want to do. It's that fine. Shit so the you remember those days home. where no I knew nothing Pete. about calories? Anthony, I know, right? Don't even know what a calorie is. You just think it's a number on the back of a container. Mm -hmm. Now calories are everything. I got to now once you finally understand a calorie, it's a turning point. Yeah. It's literally a turning point, and then you actually understand like a your diet and like a deficit and everything else. Like it's like an eye opener. Yeah. Big time. Like and it's funny because now that I know about so much about it. Like, I remember when I used to make my own shit, and I would be buttering a bagel or putting cream cheese, real cream cheese, not fat-free products, eating chips and dip. And I, I remember just... when I used to make you tuna. Like, yeah, no, more, more mayo. mayo. Hell yeah. <laughs> and I used to look at you, I'm like, do you know how much fucking mayo that is? Because I used to weigh shit prior to, like, Jimmy dieting. Like, do you know how much mayo that is? That's I didn't a care. A lot of mayo. The way I looked at it is, I already had the girl. I knew she she wasn't going back anywhere. <laughs> I'm like, all right. You know, it's like Kaki could have me getting fat or being fat, or she could go back to the ghetto. I've picked her up from the ghetto many times. I knew she wasn't going back. If she has to deal with a fat First little pasty dude, my mom's house was not the ghetto. That area was the ghetto. You had, crack, you had a crack house right across the street. <laughs> Who the fuck are you trying to fool here? That's true. But it wasn't always a crack house. It wasn't In a my crack. defense, when I grew up and I was little, there was a little girl that lived across the street. And we used to play together. Her name was Danielle. Okay. But it turned it into a crack house. It wasn't always a crack house. It doesn't matter. When I was with you, shit was a fucking crack house. Yeah, shit was it, the ghetto. It was a crack house. I knew she wasn't going back. I knew she would deal with a fat white pasty boy with a small ding dong I wasn't worried about it 
because the belief was there, the love was there. <laughs> um, like, and it still is. Crack is good shit. Oh yeah? It might be, I don't know. I've never tried it. Jake the Snake says otherwise. Uh. Oh yeah, man, these jalapenos are extra spicy. I just, I'm, just, I'm just a puss when it comes to spices. You are. I need to build up my tolerance, brother. I'm gonna make you eat a whole jar of jalapenos one night. Aren't we all receiving money? Are you talking about from the state? I think I, I was. See, I, my, um, my buddy I told me that. that said everybody. I heard a about check. that, and your aunt told me the same thing. But <clears throat> honestly, if the whole nation goes into shutdown, yeah, I don't. I foresee. think if you're one waiting for your your tax income, be you're gonna wait you get a little that. longer. Yeah, which in, includes us because we just didn't even file yet. <laughs> Like, we just dropped our shit off at the accountant today, so. Who we, knows when we'll see that shit? We're going to be late, but I did. I forgot to tell you that. My bo my uh, manager said that to me. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, we're all supposed to be getting checks. I'm like, for what? From the state? There's a stimulus package going out. But that would make sense for the people that are not working. The people that are working, why would you? Or if you're working an essential job that gives you a better chance of getting sick, then yes. Compensate me, please. I will love some compensation. Because after this past week and a half, I deserve compensation. How's your onion rings, Kagi? Do you want to try a piece of my pizza? No. Uh, I'm not eating full. all. I'm kind getting full. full, too. Ask Kagi and Jamie about what? How many breaking news did you know? Did you know about predicting before it happened? Jimmy, yeah, you, Jimmy, you were pretty good with it. Jimmy pretty much predicted almost everything that happened before it happened. So if you need a lottery number, just, you know, message Jimmy Jam. <laughs> He's really good at predicting shit. You don't have to believe me, I'm hoping I'm wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Joanne. How are you doing, girl? Hey, my boo. Damn it. What? You and your boo. Just say hey, girl. Well, no, hey, Joanne. No, I can't. Joanne is my boo. Taggy doesn't even call me her boo. It's just Joanne. What? She's my boo. I'm sorry, I just don't, I never understood the, you know, the point of guys and girls calling guys and girls a boo. I'm calling another girl boo, why are you getting upset? No, no, no. I'm not, I just never understood it, that term. You know what I mean? And it sounds so, I just, I never liked it. Even that shit, when that shit was popular when we were younger. Yeah. I never understood it. Never even heard Kaki say it until she called Joanne one night boo. And then it just Because Joanne stopped. always used to call me boo-boo. Did she? Mm-hmm. The boo-boo like the donkey? Oh, then I always call her boo. What? I just never understood it, that's all. Kaki boo. Kaki boo, that's what it was. Nothing needs to be understood, Jamie. Thank you! Thank you, Joanne. No, Miss Joanne, everything needs to be understood, okay? Everything. You don't get it. Joanne, what are you doing right now, girl? What? Alright, so I know that Jimmy and Munch are going back and forth with statistics and numbers. Pete chimes in every once in a while. And that's okay. I will. I don't know if I'm going to want to read it actually tomorrow. I know I'm definitely not reading it tonight. All right, Kagi, here's the deal. Oh, the gnome's getting I'm good. I'll continue to eat as long as you want to eat. But I'm I'm good to call it when you are, okay? I just want you to know that. Mm -hmm. I got cheesy bread. Fucking spiciness. That cheesy bread was good, too. <clears throat> yeah, it's not bad. It's not like my, my normal place is not. Which, they think they're fleeing to Florida. 
They're probably not going nowhere. Uh, they might. They're not going to get out in time. Uh. What to eat for lunch? Been fasting? Uh. Well, Joanne, I remember uh. when Khaki used to work full time as a manager. And I was home with, at the time, just their son. No. When I worked full-time as a manager, you had Isabella and Lucas. All right. When I was home with my kids, she I would watch YouTube videos all day long on what to make Khaki for dinner. <laughs> you did. And I used to get some fucking good ideas. Then I would go to the store and spend 100 bucks on one dinner. And Khaki would be I used to come me. home to a gourmet fucking dinner that cost $100. For my Pizza Hut, my, my Domino's night. But was, was like, it good? Yeah. <laughs> all the food you saw in the video, that wasn't all for me. Um, we got... I spent $76 all together. But now, it was for everybody, not just us. But it was not for everybody. You. It wasn't for me. I only got cheesy bread and a pizza. My mom got... My mom and dad got cheesy bread and they also got this cookie brownie thing. Mmm. Mine's still up there. My brother got cheesy bread. We got the kids cheesy bread. Your brother got a pizza too. My brother got a pizza mm -hmm. too. And then, the rest of that, a cheesy bread. Yeah. yeah, we ordered like five cheesy breads. <laughs> Two pizzas. It was a lot. You low key did low carb this past week. This past week, no more than 18 grams of carbs. 18 grams of carbs, Anthony? That's pretty fucking low. And I bet you- That's you're... really low. I've never gone that low on carbs. Like ever. Never done that. That's insane. Well, I bet How you- How did you survive? Listen, carbs are good, but they're not fucking life. I'm sorry, but you could go a couple days without doing carbs and be fine for the weekend. Without- there... If you eat vegetables, you're eating carbs. No, no, no. What I'm saying is you- did... Are you talking about per, per meal or, or the whole week? I think it was all about per meal. Right. I've never gone that low in one meal. No. I mean, With I, carbs. I, mean I, I think I have. 18 grams? No, you have not. Uh, probably not. No. No, you didn't. <sighs> Regardless, if you did 18 grams, good for you. I bet you made up for it this past weekend. And I bet you're like thinking like, wow, you know what? I'm going to do a good job this weekend. Because I did a fucking really good job this week. Guilt free. Like, yeah, you Whatever didn't really works. eat me this week, so you know what? Go and have some pizza. Were in check. Well, if you're doing 18 grams per, 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 um, per meal, per, uh, I don't know about your, your carbs. Are, that's, that's like low for your carbs. Like, I don't even know what, like, you have to. That's like keto. That's like keto waters right there. That's lower than keto water waters. Yeah, keto I think requires you like twenty grams of carbs per day. That's lower than keto fucking. Look. Whatever works for you. Yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh my god. It's not like you're you're dismantling I mean, if carbs. It's you're and probably me... making up for it this weekend. If it's working for you, that's fine. Exactly. You wanna go that low? So you can yeah. carb up on the weekend. I totally get that. That's what I do, but I don't go that low. As our buddy AJ once said, do it up. Ketosis. And if you if you decided to do fucking Oh, ketosis is five. Five grams of carbs? Oh fuck that. I'd be an angry fucking bitch. You're an angry bitch. Anyway. I would be an angrier bitch. Angrier bitch. Had to get the burnt stuff. I mean, you couldn't even imagine. It was a trial that. run. Okay, well, if it was a trial run, you obviously did it. How do you feel? Do you think you could do it this week? Because if you feel you could can you do it this week, do it again. Could if you do it again? That was my next question. Could you do that again? I didn't have the best week when it comes to my nutrients this week, but I plan on doing a better job next week. Listen, go I'm gonna there. try, guys. Pray for me. I'm gonna try to not drink wine next week, but. Yeah, you know that's not gonna happen. With this whole homeschooling thing that's going on now, this whole online class, you gotta make your kids do this, that, the other thing, like, <sighs> pray for me. No. I'm gonna need it. 
Not with Isabella, because she wants to learn. Really full, it's high Lucas. protein and high fat. Good for you, man. Lucas is the one that gives me the problem with learning and reading and writing and math and all that other stuff, but Isabella is like super receptive to everything. She's she, like me, like she'll just take it and be like, all right, this is what I gotta do, all right, I'll just do it. Yeah, she's not exactly happy that she gets to stay home from school. No, she's very upset. She doesn't get to go to school and see her teacher or her friends. She's very upset. You're Literally very upset. Are you ready for bed? Yes. Are you gonna chew? Oh, you finished both sandwiches. I did. Didn't think you were gonna do it. I told her that too. There wasn't a lot on each sandwich. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. And I know I have a brownie cookie up there, so I gotta eat that too. We are going to call it night. I'm full. I'm leaving the crust, but we will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night, guys. Stay safe. All right. I'll end up doing homework. Yeah, usually, Pete. What? I'll usually end up helping Lucas with his homework. Yeah, I'm not here. I'm working. I always get stuck with the homework, but Isabella's easy. Lucas is you the pain. You get stuck with the homework. It's your job. I always get stuck with the homework with Lucas because he's such a pain in the butt because he doesn't want to do it. Yeah, That's what I was saying. He's horrible with it. But you know what? There's times where I've gotten home and he's giving Kaggy such a hard time and I've offered to do it. And Kaggy always yells at me, no, because I gotta do it because I don't know how to do the homework. You don't. Uh, you don't. I don't even know how to do the homework, but I try at least. Uh, guys, we will see you tomorrow. Go live for dessert. Fuck common core math. That's all I have to say. Anthony, you know what? That's another thing I was thinking about. If I were to just leave everything set up and then go live at 4 o'clock in the morning, I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could do it and be comfortable eating because that's like my my happy time. That's and where he just sits there and just like... Brrr, I just, just like I, shove, I literally... Shovels food into his mouth. And I watch wrestling. <laughs> I couldn't do that. I would feel like a big slob. <laughs> I'm all about not being a pig on camera anymore. Yeah, now he's not into being a pig on camera. Yeah. Maybe one day, though. Maybe one day. Good night, guys. Have a good night. Mm-hmm. I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> no, seriously, I make a big pig of myself in the middle of the night. And even when my kids are watching me, which it happens. It happened a couple days ago. Um... It's, it's just not a fun feeling to look like a pig. Up. Good night, guys. Good night.